It's time for another exciting unboxing. And today I have this box from On Running. And this one, and this one, three new shoe models. And we have some of them to give away. So stay tuned. It's exciting times at On Running. With the release of this new model, they will have released three new road running models in four months. It's no wonder we haven't been able to keep up. Anyway, we're catching up today. So let's start by looking at the models that are already out, the Cloud Monster and the Cloud Runner, and you may have seen them around. And then we'll unveil their latest edition, the Cloud Go. The On Cloud Monster is On's answer to maximalist shoes. It has a pretty extreme amount of cushioning with their biggest cloud tech elements ever. You can see through them and a pretty bold rocker shape. Let's take a closer look at this shoe. The midsole of On's Cloud Monster is made out of On's Helion Super Foam, giving it great durability and great temperature resistance. They won't get soft and squishy on a hot day. That's built onto their TPU speedboard with, as I said, with a pretty bold rocker shape and a six millimeter heel toe drop. All this while keeping the shoe a surprisingly light 275 grams. These shoes are built for the long run. They're not really a speed session or race day type of shoe, but they do feature a surprising amount of energy return. The Cloud Monster is already available for $170 or 150 pounds. And don't worry, they do also come in other colors if you're not into the Incredible Hulk. And then we have this shoe released recently, the On Cloud Runner. This is On's everyday supportive runner. Compared to the Cloud Monster, it's a lot more conservative and predictable. It still features their patented Cloud Tech cushioning, but this midsole is made out of their softer zero gravity foam, giving it a softer and more forgiving ride. It doesn't have the extreme rocker of the Cloud Monster, but it does have, still have the TPU speedboard in there with a nine millimeter heel toe drop, and the upper definitely feels a lot more plush and comfortable. I think I'm gonna take them out for a run and test them. It's designed to be supportive for medium distances. And if you're just starting out running or coming back from injury or simply like your shoes to be more stable and predictable, then it's probably a good shoe for you. They're slightly heavier at 300 grams for a US 8.5. And I have to admit that running in them, they definitely didn't feel as bouncy as the other shoes. But I guess that's the trade-off you make for having a more stable shoe. And I have to admit the traditionalist in me really likes the look of these shoes. They do look good. They're available now for 140 US dollars or 150 pounds. And finally, what we've come here today to unbox the On Cloud Go. Only been released today. If you're torn between the Cloud Monster and the Cloud Runner, then this is probably the shoe for you. Not as extreme as the Cloud Monster, but a lot more bouncy and energetic than the Cloud Runner. The Cloud Go features the Helion Super Foam midsole, like the Cloud Monster, built onto a TPU speedboard in a rocker shape that's not quite as extreme as the Cloud Monster. It will be more energetic and responsive than the Cloud Runner though, in fact helped by the fact that it's nearly 50 grams lighter than the Cloud Runner at 255 grams for the US 8.5. So let's take a closer look at this shoe. The upper features a knit weave upper which promises comfort and flexibility uh, and then it has these support lines built into it which they call lines of non-extension which is just a fancy way of saying lines that don't stretch. So it helps the shoe keep its shape while you move. It's a more progressive design than its sister shoe, the Cloud Runner. The lacing extends all the way down over the toe box at an angle, which should help you get a more snug fit. Oh. 
And if we turn the shoe over, you'll notice there's rubber pads only on the areas of highest friction. Obviously, this is where some of the weight saving has come in. And previous on owners will also notice something else. No more stone collecting. Yep, they've closed this channel that occasionally used to pick up a stone on some of the previous models. Now, not that this was a huge issue when you're running on the road as these shoes are designed for, but let's face it, no road runner is 100% on the road and occasionally you would get a stone, but on have been listening to the consumers. Nice one on. The shoe doesn't have much support, so it's ready for your more well-balanced runner or your neutral foot striker. But the Helion Superphone, compared with those clouds or cloud tech, as they call it, mean that it's still pretty forgiving even whilst being energetic. So a light, responsive, comfortable shoe featuring the best of Swiss engineering. And here's the kicker, ha, ah, excuse the pun. They've managed to do all of this for the very reasonable price, the same as the Cloud Runner, of $140 for 130 pounds. Now these shoes only just arrived, so I haven't actually had a chance to do many miles in them, but I have run around the block and I have to say, they feel pretty good, light and, energetic probably the perfect shoe if you're training for your first triathlon and don't want to break the bank on a pair of carbon super shoes and the best way to save some money would be to get them for free and today we have five pairs to give away so just click the link down below answer a simple question and you could get your own pair of on cloud go for free <laughs>